Hi, my name is Mayal from avoiderrors.net and this is a simple tutorial on how to clone a virtual machine. In this case, I have Windows 8, but it could have been Windows 2008 server with Active Directory installed or 2012. So I'm going to use Windows 8 for this example. So just right click and it's easy. Click on clone. Now here you can rename your virtual machine or your virtual clone. I'm going to select copy, next, and here select full clone. Now if I click on clone it would immediately start cloning. This way I don't have to reinstall the operating system. Here it is. Now I'm going to cancel here. If I would have had 2008 server with Active Directory installed it would take a long time for me to install the operating system then install Active Directory. This way I can just clone it. Now, I can also create a snapshot. For example, before or after I installed in a specific program, in this case Microsoft Office. Same applies to 2003 server or 2008 server. After or before I install Active Directory or Exchange. In this case, I'm going to use after I install Microsoft Office. And then OK. Perfect. Now, if I was to clone my virtual machine now, it would give us an additional menu. So right click, clone, rename the virtual machine, in this case Windows 8 copy, next, select a full clone, next, and now I can choose, this is the additional uh, menu, clone the virtual machine or everything. It gave us that because we created a snapshot now if we had a snapshot created like this one here it's good to create a clone of everything including the snapshot click clone and this even though it says like two hours it really takes like 20 to 30 minutes I'm gonna fast forward this and this way I don't have to in this case reinstall the operating system and then reinstall Microsoft Office now if I had 2008 server for example with Active Directory and Exchange install, I don't have to go through the installation of the operating system, Active Directory, and Exchange. It'll I can just clone it, and in 20 minutes I have everything installed. So as you can see, the clone is working perfectly. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.